All right, ready? Ready, Sam guys? Go. Yes, sir. Okay, coming to you from Long Island, New York, it's the Quarantine Dating, dating Game, brought to you by Gail from Seven in Heaven Singles Events. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. A big hello to everyone out there in quarantine world out there. I'm Gail from Seven in Heaven Singles Events. Welcome to our third session of the Quarantine Dating Game. Tonight we'll be reversing the game with three lovely ladies answering dating questions by one handsome bachelor. So let's get started and let's meet our bachelorettes. Uh, first is bachelorette number one, Mary. All right, Mary. Oh, you can just put the music on a little bit. Yeah, yay for Mary. Right, Hello. A 32-year-old graduate loves and misses her job as a high school counselor. Long Island native, originally from Valley Stream. She also has lived in Philly, New Jersey, and Puerto Rico. She's a girl on the go. In her spare time, you can find her volunteering at a church or sales, a church sale, or helping others as an EMT. Enjoys running, bicycling, kayaking, hiking, traveling, and adventure. Once backpacked through Ireland, I understand. Uh, comes from a close-knit family. She's the fourth of five children. A true animal lover with two dogs, two rabbits, and a turtle. Welcome, Mary. Wave to us, Mary. Hello. All right, now we're going to introduce Bachelorette number two. Number two. Let's meet Emily. Okay, Bachelorette number two. This kind, compassionate, single 27-year-old college grad from LIU, host, uh, currently is a special ed teacher in Nassau County. Claims, claim to fame, once taught a special needs class how to ride unicycles. She can sing, dance, loves concerts, live music, and hopes to get back to traveling again after this summer. And, uh, and I was always up for adventures. Comes from a large extended family, two cousins, one sister, two doggies, and absolutely adores. Uh, searching for that other half to be your biggest supporter and best friend. Welcome, Emily. We have to us, Emily. Hi. Okay. And last but not least is bachelorette number three. Let's meet Becky. This spunky 24-year-old single is from Nassau County, working as an emergency medical technician. This college grad is furthering her career with a choice of mortuary science, an up-and-coming, fast-growing industry these days. Uh, she is a romantic at heart and can make people laugh with her quirky sense of humor, enjoys exploring new places in New York City and Long Island, likes to paint, cook, and dance. She's a middle child and wants to have a big family one day because family is everything. She has a cute little chihuahua, too. Let's welcome Emily. I mean, sorry, Rebecca. Thank you. <laughs> That's letter number three. All right, girls, so here's, here's the deal. Now I'm going to blacken your screen, and I'm going to welcome in the bachelor. Okay, he should be waiting for us by now, okay? So uh, you'll get an invite again at the end to, to put in your uh, video, okay? We ready? I'm going to yeah. stop the video, and we're going to stop the video. And we, can you all still hear me? I didn't. I didn't screw that up, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So Eric is waiting. So we're ready. Set. Yes. 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 Hello, Eric. Can you hear us out there? Ready to go. Hold on. Eric. Eric, where are you, Eric? Sorry. <laughs> all right. Let's all meet Eric from West Babylon. A uh, single, very active 31-year-old college grad working as a freelance graphic artist that aspires to be an entrepreneur one day. Into fitness, bodybuilding, building, and martial arts. Can make you laugh, girls. Loves dogs and all kinds of music from opera to heavy metal. Looking for that special someone one day to visit new places from Ireland to California. Let's welcome Eric. Yay. Hey, Eric. Yay. All right. So, Eric. <laughs> the audience, it just won't shut up, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Eric, how are you tonight? Good, keeping busy. Good. Are you ready to play our little game? You remember how this goes? I have no idea. How do you do this again? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully you uh, watch my little clip, because this is an oldie but a goodie. Uh, you're going to select your bachelorettes according to their, their clever answers, and then you're going to get to see what they look like. All right, so... Um, do you have your questions ready? Oh uh, yeah, I got them. All right, good. And 
you know that you can ask two, you know, the same question twice, but try to refrain from asking this same question three times. Make sure to refer to the bachelorettes as bachelorette number one, two, and three. All right, are we ready? I'm ready. Okay, so here we go. All right. Yes. Uh, let's see. Bachelorette number three, what do you spend the most time thinking about? Honestly, the, what I spend the most time thinking about um, has to be my family. I mean, my mother and father, um, my whole family is so important to me. Also, I like food. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Bachelorette number two, same question. Um, I spend a lot of time. Um, I'm a special education teacher, so I spend a lot of time, um, I guess, really thinking about ways that I can you know, help my students uh, learn better. But I also equally um, think about my family and just being the best version of myself for everybody. All right. Let's see. Uh, bachelorette number one, what was the weirdest date you've ever been on and how did you respond? Oh, dear. Um, I okay. once was invited to go to a Dave and Buster's, which I normally love, but uh, the person was one of those um, not as seen on TV type people. So his, uh, he was not what he'd advertised on his dating profile <laughs> and uh, immediately wanted to leave Dave and Buster's and go to the beach. It was at like midnight. So no, thank you. Um, so we played a couple of games and I just went home. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see uh bachelorette number two would you rather trade some intelligence for looks or looks for intelligence well um looks for intelligence um i'm a firm believer in it's what the, it's the inside that matters not what you look like on the outside all right let's see here uh, bachelorette number three, if you could sit on a bench with anyone, alive or dead, to have a conversation with, who would it be? Okay, so definitely uh, John Lennon. I am in love with his music. Um, I think he's an inspiration. And yeah, I think that we would have a really good time together. Nice. Uh, bachelorette number one, same question. David Tennant. Um, I'm a huge fan of his work. I'm actually a closeted, not so closeted Doctor Who freak. I enjoy, I enjoy some good sci-fi shows. Um, and I think he's a brilliant actor who really puts himself out there, not only as a performer, but as an artist and as a family man. Alrighty. Let's see here. Uh, bachelorette number two, uh, what's something you've always wanted to try? Um, well, I have a very large fear of heights, but I think if I didn't have such a fear, I probably want to do, um, I've, I've seen a bunch of my friends, um, go on vacation and they've done like cliff jumping, jumping off cliffs into the ocean. And I think that's really cool, but I'm absolutely petrified of heights, but that's definitely something I want to do. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see here. All right, this is a pretty good one. A bachelorette number one, what are you most likely to become famous for? Ooh, okay, so you know that lady who just became famous for um, bringing her Zoom into the bathroom? I would be that kind of person. No, you don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I'd be famous for making a fool of myself, um, but usually to try and help other people or help entertain. Um, I take care of my niece and nephew and I was a special ed teacher. Now I'm a guidance counselor. So everything I do, I do to entertain and keep other people happy. So I'd probably make a fool of myself to satisfy other people. <laughs> All right. Uh, bachelor number three, same question. Sorry, could you repeat that? You're kind of choppy. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Um, what are you most likely to become famous for? Probably my comedy. So I am, uh, I have very dark humor and I actually uh, go to comedy clubs sometimes to, um, you know, get a laugh out of people. I like making people laugh. 
Okay. Hmm. This question is. <laughs> uh, that means it's time. That's the funny sound. That means we're time's up, Eric. All right. So it's time for you to ponder your decision on which bachelorette you think that you might want to go out on a date with. Let All me. Right. Just, do you have a decision? Yeah, I do. You do? Okay. Yeah. All right. So who will it be? Bachelorette number one? Bachelorette number two or bachelorette number three? Let us know, Eric. Bachelorette number one. Number one. Okay. So what we're going to do right now, yay. Okay. Yay. So we're going to um, now unveil the two ladies that unfortunately you did not pick. All right. So I'm going to introduce you to bachelorette number one. So I'm asking her to show her video so we can take a look. That's the one I chose, no. <laughs> no, you said number three. No, no I said one. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm showing you who you didn't pick. Oh, okay. You wanna... <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> That's how it works. We got to show bachelorette number three. Would you, there she is. You did not Hi. pick number three. This is, this is Becky. Okay. Audience, please. Thank you. All right. And you did not choose <laughs> Bachelorette number two. So let's take a look. You needed to see the clip, you millennials. You, you didn't know. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, there she is. That's Emily. Emily was Bachelorette number two. So now, cue the music. All right. So now we're going to introduce you to the Bachelorette you did choose. And this is Mary. Welcome, Mary. Where are you, Mary? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you guys. Are, you guys. Uh, you did pretty good because Mary's also a runner. Um, I think. What else can we say about Mary? Mary's very athletic. Also, she. Um, she. What else can I say about Mary? She's. She wants to go to Ireland too, and she's actually been pack, backpacking through Ireland. So you'll be able to uh, do that together maybe someday again. Uh, bicycling, kayaking, hiking. So you. You kind of well matched. That's pretty cool. Um, the two of you are going to get a gift card for me for a future event and, you know, maybe you'll come as a couple or maybe you'll come individually, but, you know, we hope to see you soon and I hope, are you going to get a resume of each person so you can remember who's who? And, uh, I want to thank everybody. We, oh, we're, we're not done yet because what do we have to do? We have to blow a kiss to the audience. If anybody saw the clip, they know. <laughs> are we ready? Let's all yes, yes. All right, ready, set. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Thanks for joining us. It was a lot of fun. It was right. definitely. We'll, we'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Thank you, ladies. All right. Bye.